to the first instructional video on how to make a 2D game for free. Um, I just wanted to show you really quickly, this is what we're going to be making. This is current um, in the versions that we have. I'm gonna explain as you download this later. A lot of people are having problems with this and I was able to fix all the bugs. And so I'm gonna help you if you wanna know what it is that we're going to be doing. Um, actually, I think I'm starting on level four here, but but let, let's let's take a look at this. So um, I just want you to see that all this works. So as you start up the game, this is the platformer tutorial. Um, all these other levels are locked. All of these buttons do do something. I'll uh, quit when you're in play mode. It doesn't just quit the game for you, but it actually does work. So when you click level one, it goes into level one. He moves back and forth. He jumps. Uh, he when he falls on the spikes, he resets that level. Uh, he touches the flag, he goes into the next level. Uh, he goes over to the door. The door does not work, and you get a little message saying, hey, missing key. So um, when you get the key, a little thing pops up in your HUD. Uh, you're able to open the door, go to the flag. Uh, you have enemy AI that responds uh, the way it's supposed to. So it will patrol on its own and kind of have like a little mind of its own. It will also chase you. Uh, it will damage you, and when you get damaged, you go invulnerable. When you get damaged to the point that you die, you restart that current level. Uh, when you go invulnerable for just a minute, uh, it takes a couple seconds, so he can't hurt you for a couple seconds. You go to the flag, go to level four, you pick up the item, which is kind of like a lightning bolt that they have set up, uh, and you're able to throw that lightning bolt uh, and kill these enemies, and whenever they die, they kind of spin off the screen. Uh, there you go. Uh, actually, I think in the updated version, uh, they will actually go transparent the way they are designed to do. But once you get to the end of the level, uh, it goes back to level one. When you click on new games, so you're unlocking these. You can't go to level two until you beat level one, and you can't go to three until you beat level two, so on and so forth. But when you click new game, it, it re-highlights uh, them out, re-locks them uh, to where you have to start the game over. So this is just a little neat little game that they have set up. Um, the Bolt is set up and Unity acquired Bolt and now Bolt is free. So uh, if you're running into any problems on getting this to work, I just wanted to show you that I got it to work and if you follow this instruction, you, you will be able to make this game too. So let's get started um, making this game together. So the first thing that we're going to need if we're going to be able to make this game um, is we're going to have to download and install Unity. You may have already done that. If you haven't, you can go to unity.com and you just click on getting started. Uh, and when you do that, it's going to come up with a lot of different plans for you. Uh, if you want to go ahead and pay money, you can. But listen, if you are just trying to do this for yourself, if you're a student, you're in great shape, you might have to prove that you're a student. I don't know. I'm not a student at, at the moment. But um, if you make less than $100,000 on this video game in a year, well, then you don't have to pay for Unity, and you can use it for free. I really like the way they have that set up. So just go ahead and click that link. Uh, go ahead and hit Start here. They're saying, hey, listen, we want you to understand uh, what what the way we have this set up. So th what I just said to you basically applies. So you're going to hit OK. You'll save the file. I have already done that. Once you save this file, you're going to open it. And once you open it, you're going to get uh, the Unity Unity launcher. Okay, so once you get Unity installed, the first thing you should see is kind of a blank project screen. You are actually going to have to install the version of Unity that you want to run. I'm currently running 2019.4.2 F1. I know there's been another update, and then they just recently released the 2020, and I just hadn't got to mess it mess with it because I've been kind of busy. But uh, I did do this in 2019. It, any updated versions should still work. So just go ahead and install that. Depending on the uh, you know the builds that you want to do, um, you know like if you want to do that, you have to select all of the builds that you want to use. I just did the standard, and it installs that somewhere around. Uh, like two to three gigs. It's gonna take a little bit for you to install just depending on which build support that you are installing. But uh, once that installs, you're going to go to projects and you'll hit new and um, you know just uh, go to 2D and call a project whatever you want. Uh, so bolt project and just hit create. This is bolt project uh, alpha. I don't know. Call it whatever you want. Hit create and then find a place to save it and hit create and then it should load up and we'll continue with the next part of this video. Okay, so when Unity opens up, this is the first thing that you see. I've arranged my windows in this way. Uh, this is helpful for me. Um, it should be helpful for you. 
uh, to save the screen this way and I'll show you how to do that just real quick uh, first of all the uh, project folder goes over here to the left and I have it set on such a way that I have uh, two folders to where I can see the the root and the asset uh, it's in two column layouts when you click on that little icon right there you'll see that so if you if yours looks like this just click on two column layout you can get that screen set up I have dragged the console down here so I can see my error messages and stuff pop up over here uh, in animator and animation um, you can go to window uh, let's see here uh, window and um, where's that window at? I can't remember exactly where that. Oh, you have to install the thing first. That's probably why it's not working. Okay, so go to Asset Store, and uh, we're going to install Bolt. Again, Bolt is free on the Unity website. So as soon as this loads up, um, actually, that's the first thing you see right now. Like, hey, get Bolt. So it's really easy to find it. There you go. But you can do a search for Bolt, and you'll see this uh, this screen right here and uh, I've already claimed it so all I have to do is import it when you import it you get a screen that looks like this so you'll import it into your project um, when I first imported this I installed the wrong one and so it wasn't working correctly you get a couple error messages down here let me fix that real quick so clear that out go to install bolt and what you're doing I what worked for me anyway is doing the net 4 framework so whenever I click on click on that it prepares the package gets it started and then you'll import it and when it's done importing all these files then it'll say okay now we can install bolt when you install bolt there are a couple other uh, uh, folder tabs that you want to put in a couple places that uh, are helpful for me I watched the tutorial video uh, home Ec, I think as the guy's name on discord guy was super helpful it's funny I after studying a 35 hour course on Udemy, I learned more from a one-hour tutorial from that guy than I earned, learned in 35 hours. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's his style of learning. Anyway, when your Bolt screen comes up, you'll hit Next. Uh, I would select Human Naming if I were you because we don't understand all the computer language. And if you're a programmer, then maybe you... What are you watching this video if you already know how to program? Uh, you don't watch this video, watch somebody else. Uh, you're making me self-conscious. Anyway, go all the way to the bottom. These are all the aspects and things in Bolt that you will uh, run into. While we're doing that, uh, let's see if I can click on. I can't click on that yet. Uh, so I have to wait for this to finish loading, and um, once it finishes loading, then we can go and get the platformer asset file. Um, I actually have. Uh, I believe I have the other thing of Unity up. Yeah. So I have my other other thing up so I can go back and refer to that you, you don't need that but that's just for me um, so anyway so oops if I can get the right one up come on dude there we go ah again I make mistakes all right goodness gracious let me just minimize this how about that all right so it's still building that that database and when it's all done uh, it should get a little window like that so you can just close it clear all the console logs and everything like that so um, we need the um, the bolt um, platformer asset so um, let's see if I can search where's the search bar here goodness gracious oh there it is okay uh, bolt platform so if you just search bolt platform it should come up for you uh, and it's this one right here bolt kit platformer tutorial asset I've already kind of claimed it so um, it, it says you know you can you can I can import it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna import that into your package do not click install upgrade just hit skip I think that's what they have to update so if they would do that maybe this video would be different but you're importing all of this stuff and when you import all this stuff in and you open a scene you're gonna see some issues that I ran into and it took me a little bit to figure out how to fix it I'm gonna walk through those all at least all the ones I can remember right now and when we start getting into um, other um, issues throughout the tutorial if I forgot something I'll uh, double back on that but go to scene um, let's say for example you open up level one just right off the get-go I have scene and game is over here let me kind of fix that get that a little bit bigger um, if you hit play at this point um, your guy is not gonna do anything you'll see the flag animate but you can't you can't move him around whenever you hit your keys that is the purpose of this video the purpose of this particular video, uh, not the whole series, but this one, is to fix these little errors. Because if you notice here, this is not in the right place. You can't see anything on your scene view. 
Uh, first and foremost, let's fix a couple more windows. So go to window and hit uh, graph inspector. Oops, it put it up on my other monitor. Uh, let me go ahead and get that real quick. So you're gonna get graph inspector and then you're also going to get um, variables. Uh, you're gonna need the variables screen. So again, that popped up on a different screen. It should look like this. Uh, grab the little tab and put it right down there and then that should be working. And you can save this layout to uh, bolts. If you just hit save layout, you can name it whatever you want. I named mine Bolt, uh, but mine does look like that. So if yours doesn't look like that, doesn't have to, but I find it helpful to just be able to see everything the way that I need it to. So let's fix this um, this uh, problem that we're having here with our layers, because this is a layer issue. And believe it or not, the layer issue is not in um, the Unity, it's in the renderer. Uh, but there are a couple of things we're gonna have to go into in layers, but just real quick, so when you click on level and you go to, uh, let's see here, uh, background, sorry. When you go to background, you'll notice that these layers are not lined up correctly. The way that I fix that is to go to uh, sprite renderer, not the layer up here, because we'll get that in just a second. Sprite renderer, and um, for that last one, I did negative one, and I come up the level. So negative one, uh, negative two, and you're not gonna see anything change until I get the last one here. Should have done that backwards. Negative three in the order layer, uh, negative four, and everything should jump back to where it's supposed to be. So now you can see that in the scene view, and it should be working correctly. You're gonna have to do that for every single level. Uh, so if you got you got there's four levels in there, none of them are in the right order. But there's another issue you need to fix if you're going to be able to go through this tutorial. This one frustrated me to no end. Um, let me open up uh, something real quick in this other screen so I can show you exactly the way your layers need to be set up. So in, um, this is the completed one that I've done. Uh, in this layer system, you need the following layers. So let me just kind of go real quick and edit those and you'll be able to see exactly the way that these are lined up. Uh, that wasn't necessary. You don't have to have the sorting layer. You just need layers. And uh, so all these are grayed out. You can't change those. Default, temporary, uh, excuse me, transparent, uh, FX, ignore raycast, level three is blank, level four is water, level five is UI, level six and seven are blank. If you will put player, platforms, background, projectiles, enemies, that would be the set way it's set up. And later on, you're gonna have to do player invincible. So go ahead and put that one in there in your user layers. And when you go to, let's see, um, your build settings, so you click file build settings. Ah, it's not build settings. Sorry, it's, uh, sorry. Like I said, I make mistakes. File, uh, where is it at? Oh, it's under edit. Um, project settings, there you go. This window comes up, it looks like this. And it, you need to click on, don't click on physics, I've made a big mistake on that, click physics 2D, because this is a 2D game, and you scroll down, and these are the order layers and how they conflict and mesh with one another. So for example, you have over here, uh, player. In this, I turned it off, so if I ever have another game where there's another player, I don't want them to run into each other. So whenever they're um, their physics components meet, they will pass by each other. Uh, projectiles, this is the one that frustrated me to no end. Projectiles does not need to interact with my players. So click that one off, click player to player off. Projectiles shouldn't interact with themselves. Um, projectiles do not need to hit the player whenever they're invincible. Uh, player invincible doesn't need to be on the same layer as enemy, so whenever you go invincible, you don't need enemies to hit you and attack you. Uh, that is the way that needs to be set up. Okay, so when you get these things fixed and put the way that they're supposed to as far as layers, I, I don't think I capitalized the I on player invincible, but I think that's supposed to be, that's the way it is. If there is another issue later on, we'll study it, because I will remember it as we go through the, 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 the profile, but make sure you go into, uh, so file, we're gonna save this, this scene. Um, when you go into these other scenes, 
and you load level two, look, you're gonna have to do that again on the background. I think we also had some issues with the uh, trees and the plants, but again, uh, let's do this backwards now. So in the sprite renderer, that's negative four. Layer two is negative three. And three. Uh, layer three is negative two. Layer four is negative one. Do this for all your levels, level one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now that this is set up correctly, we're going to move on to the next video.